freedom and happiness you know we are doing this an online session you should have edited those books i have already written it and done so it i'm doing it more to make you understand clearly that is why we are doing it other books we did it just you know you edited it and we got it published so patanjali yoga sutra is one of the prime interesting deeper text it has two parts two things freedom and happiness so it is not the happiness from the freedom from the mind we need freedom from the mind <clears throat> that is why patanjali says in the second sutra of the first chapter yoga chitta vritti nirodha when the mind does not have any content the mind reveals the knowledge of the reality that is what we mean by freedom from the mind is all about patanjali yoga sutra not freedom for the mind second part is happiness not from the world outside but from the real self within is my mind constantly <clears throat> referring to the real self within for the sake of happiness or the mind is engaged surrounded by lot of challenges in the world outside who has no challenges who has no opportunities the moment we are born we never expect to face any challenges but we have the challenges can we tell us any human race on the earth does not have any challenges so what is the main import whether we have challenges or opportunities we have to live our life we have to live our whether we have problems at the personal professional social lives we have to live our life we cannot say to the existence come on enough is enough you have given me lot of challenges hence no more challenges now not possible we cannot change the world outside it is the world outside offers the challenges and the problems and the suffering what should we do we are looking for desire fulfillment all the time the mind is obsessed with the desire fulfillment we never look for desire management we never think about it whatever comes to the mind okay let me have it and i start thinking of it and then i start thinking and thinking and thinking and one desire leads to the other desire so i'm looking for desire fulfillment the patanjali says hold on look at all your desires can you manage all the desires can you minimize it can you reduce it why so that we can reflect and think of the real objective in the life we don't have time the mind doesn't have a time to have a real objective in the life so the entire journey of the eastern wisdom including patanjali yoga sutra through the teachings of those great masters passes on through your teacher so that 
we can fully understand desire fulfillment and the desire management. Desire fulfillment causes anxiety, reaction, duality, conflict, forgetfulness, host of other challenges. We already have a lot of challenges offered to us by the world outside and we add more challenges. Patanjali says, Yoga Chatta Vratti Nirodha. So he is pointing desire management. One more question comes. I was reading an email, and that email is from a very big network. That network says, Are you pasted at the unfulfilled promises? of a seven-figure income, then he writes, I know I am. You know what the fake guru looks like. I know what the fake guru looks like, and I'm tired of them. Sometimes it is not easy to spot one. How can you find who is a real guru and a fake guru? How do you find it? <clears throat> the word guru is used in the Eastern wisdom. Then he further writes, quite interesting, I was laughing. They know, Guru knows how to tap into your unconscious mindset. They know how to exploit your desire for personal growth. They pull at your heartstrings. They talk about their pets and their children and your pain points. That is the way the American marketing works. <clears throat> so I want to put something here about Guru, I was giving a lesson last year to almost for 45 sessions every day. 45 days. So perhaps after 30 days, when I explained a concept of the Guru to him on the seventh or sixth day, the knowledge was revealed to him. And he said, all my anxiety reaction has stopped. So I'm bringing the topic of a real guru or whatever the fake guru is. <clears throat> I salute to my guru. My guru salutes to his guru. His guru salutes to his guru. And it continues until what happens. Until, if you say, the final guru in the human form salutes to the real self within. So what is, what is the pointer of a real guru? Who points every seeker to oneself? The real, the highest guru dwells deep within us. Why we practice meditation? To reveal the knowledge of that real nature, real self. That real self, the originator of Krishna says, dwells deep inside my heart. Heart, which is a seat of consciousness. That is the message of Patanjali Yoga Sutra. That is the message of every teaching in the Eastern wisdom. <clears throat> what happens when we do not understand the real import of the word Guru? Guru eats or swallows the crocodile, in one of the texts it says, crocodile, guru swallows the cro crocodile? No, guru swallows the crocodile of delusion, of illusion, of false knowledge in which we are living our life in suffering, in anxiety, reaction, in stress. 
guru simply means guru dispels the ignorance and helps us to point out what is my real nature that ultimately uh, starts the tradition when guru salutes the other the second salutes the third fourth fifth and ultimately the final guru is within us that is the definition understanding of a real guru do i think over it do i contemplate and reflect that the teachers of this Eastern wisdom wait patiently. They don't say anything. They wait patiently. They look at the growth and the evolution of their seekers. So this guy, after 30 days, what you said, it clicked my mind. Guru, 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 guru. And ultimately it comes to myself my real self. I have to work on my mind. And that is why you say it is a freedom from the mind, not freedom for the mind. That will help me realize my true nature. And then he went deeper inside. You taught me not desire fulfillment. Look at desire management. Why you said? He expressed. You said this so that I can minimize my anxiety, my reaction, my duality and a conflict. So I have a desire management in the world outside in my personal, professional and social life. Hence, I have enough time for my self-discovery. I said, you have understood clearly. I was thinking and thinking and thinking, what did you say to me? It clicked to my mind, uh, if you are my teacher, then teachers salutes his teacher and his teacher and his teacher. In the beginning, we cannot understand the real self is our highest goal. Intellectually, we can understand. But until we work on our mind, we cannot understand. So he said, when I was working, I said, what different kind of practices of meditation you gave me? Every day you are changing the practices. I said, I was changing because of your progress, your bottlenecks, your problems, your challenges. I was only focused on the way you shared your experiences. That is what the Patanjali Yoga Sutra talks in the first chapter. Now what happens? We study the first chapter or any chapter of the Patanjali Yoga Sutra. We have fairly a good intellect. Everyone, every human being has an intellect. Where is your house? You can tell me instantly. You understand what it means by the house. You understand where the house is located. You understand what is the number of house. So the knowledge takes place in the mind. When I say real self is within you, why the knowledge is not taking place? Even the intellect says, I have understood it. Can we see that? Do we realize that? We seldom realize that. So the masters lays down a lot of challenges. Based on that, this Patanjali Yoga Sutra progresses. Progresses. First, it says, mind lives in five subjective states. Three subjective states cannot lead you to that freedom of the mind and the permanent happiness, the two states. Now question comes. Problem one, commitment is not there. I have not chosen the knowledge of the reality exclusively. It is, as we understand that the first chapter gives the teaching to the highest level of the seekers. Where is commitment, promise, 
less vow assurance duty responsibility devotion lot of words are used i may study listen to the teacher do practice but i am seeking something else from all these acts very interesting topic is coming now i have been doing austerity going into the himalayas lot of penance very deep but nothing happens i say okay let me continue the practice after the passing of the time there will be a progress season changes time passes days weeks months and years no changes why why patanjali indirectly answers <clears throat> three subjective states of the mind well you do not understand let us go little deeper five objective states of the mind thought pattern okay you do not understand even if you have suppressed all the thought which is not to be done you have suppressed all the thought the mind remains in the blankness past impression triggers your mind so even passing of the time you are doing the practice we are doing the practice for years together no change we are doing the austerity i will not eat non veg i am purely vegan nothing happens passing of the age i will improve so when i become old then perhaps i will awaken to my true nature nothing happens going to an enlightened teacher nothing happens what is this commitment in sincerity patanjali points indirectly in the first chapter it says honesty to myself are honestness seriousness of the purpose but i don't understand what do you mean i am really serious what is that point that helps us to progress my mind is constantly wanting seeking happiness from outside in the world do everything personal professional social life fight anger hesitation let it continue but if the intention in the mind remains alive that i'm seeking happiness only from my real self commitment is made sincerity is there one will progress because the mind is constantly seeking pleasure happiness from outside in activities in events and the things situation will not improve there will not be any fundamental change in life we are not saying that you stop doing the things outside what you are doing continue to do but that inside the mind should have one pointed focus of intention that process is known as you follow the path of the shreyas not intellectually understanding all this this is what Patanjali says in the very first chapter, the first word, Ath Yoga No Shashana. That is another way to understand. Ath is my mind constantly looking for happiness and peace within me, directing my mind to the real self while performing all the duties outside whatever comes to my mind whatever comes to the life challenges come let me face the challenges but i have to face the challenges convert it to an opportunity or i have to tolerate or i have to endure or i have to minimize at the same time that is known as desire management 
that will help our mind, the subjective states of the mind, to remain tuned with the fourth state, ekagravastha. It will not allow the mind to move into the first three subjective states, the life changes. That is the first problem. The why we, you know, we are answering how to treat the path and what are the challenges of studying the first chapter of Patanjali Yoga Sutra. What is the second problem? Knowledge is not available. <laughs> Even if the knowledge is available, I'm not ready. And if, uh, if I'm ready, but the knowledge is not there. So we have to discover, we have to find out. The teachings of the Patanjali Yoga Sutra is very practical. I have already answered. I will practice. After one year, I will progress. That one year never comes. It will never come in anybody's life. That is what we discussed as a problem number one. Problem number two, the knowledge is not available. I am ready. I am ready, but knowledge is not available. And the knowledge is available. I'm not ready. So I have to find out what makes me not to be ready. Problem number third. Sincerity is there. Knowledge is there. I listen and learn, but I do not contemplate. I do not reflect. I think, let me first solve the challenges outside. Then I will sit and think and contemplate. This is a different part of life together. My outer life is much more important, but the outer life is based on the inner life, my inner attitude, my inner state of the mind, my reflection, my understanding, my perception, my knowledge. So what Patanjali Yoga Sutra is going to do? They are going to help us. They are going to help us how to organize, reorganize my outer life, how to refine and define the priorities in the life with the clarity of a knowledge. Means what? It should go together if we are a seeker. If we are not a seeker, then we will say we'll take care after all the challenges of the outer life are met. Can we meet all the challenges of the outer life? New challenges will come. Now, coronavirus, after a few months, another challenge will come. Couple got married, and after a few months, a new challenges come. At the time of the marriage, did he was was they were they thinking, oh, there will be no problem? Problem comes. That is why I covered whether we want or not, challenges are bound to be there in the world as long as we live. Ah, now the most serious challenges or the problem that we don't understand. I have understood, let my mind draw itself to the real self for seeking the happiness while performing all of our actions in my personal, professional, and social life. Then what happens? That we do not pick up. What is that happens? The mind always objectifies the real self. And the bigger problem, bigger challenges comes. Now I'm looking for my real self. How come, you know, I have to face the challenges now? So I have objectified the self and then serious problem comes. 
Mind says, forget about the real self. First, take care of the challenges at hand. After all, the outer life is an expression of the real self. It is an effect. The cause is the real self. And it is veiled by the mind. Mind that is crazy lives into the first three subjective states and it causes the problem. And we don't want to do it. So that is why as we progressed, Patanjali says, what is practice? Abhyas Vairagya Abhyam Tannirudha. He is saying practice with wisdom. What is wisdom? Applied knowledge. What is applied knowledge here is Viveka. And when it becomes applied Viveka, it becomes a dispassion. Challenge comes, yes. Problem comes, yes. Pain comes, yes. Suffering comes, yes. I know how to minimize with reference to my real self within. If we do not objectify the self, that is the fourth problem. Fifth problem. Fifth problem is that the teacher is not able to answer the queries of a student or a seeker clearly. Why? Simple answer. Teacher is not well versed with the teachings of many masters in the text. Many books are there. Many teachings are there. Confusion due to many teachings, many practices. Teacher alone can help us to consistently to find the consistency in the knowledge. So that is another problem. That is the problem outside. So if that is the problem, after treading the path, we should find other teacher. I found 50, more than 50 teachers. Ultimately landed to a teacher who could, who could help me remove that veil of ignorance. Another problem comes, teacher should not objectify the self. Sometimes teacher objectify the self. How? Praise me, appreciate me, serve me, dedicate to me, commitment to me. That me comes. It is an objectification. And I have already answered. Uh, I made it very clear. I salute to my teacher. My teacher salutes to his, his, his. And ultimately, the greatest teacher dwells within me. But I don't see it. You cannot find it. You have to remove all the objections and the problems that is created by the mind and set into that empty, empty state of the mind. Why? So that the knowledge is revealed into you. I gave you one example to prove this point. We say Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Who said it first? In the Upanishads, first teacher said it. Now that teacher taught to his students who became the master and the same knowledge was revealed into him. Then he taught his students who became the masters. The same knowledge was revealed to him. See that. And that is the way it means the teacher is not objectifying the self as me, as my body, as my mind, as my breath. You might have heard about... Uh, Gayatri Mantra. First it was discovered by Vishwamitra. And after that there were 10 masters. The knowledge of the same Gayatri Mantra in the same way was revealed into him. So real self is the greatest teacher. We cannot approach directly. That's why we approach a teacher. The teacher teaches from the text of the teachings of the Eastern wisdom. 
he brings the consistency in the knowledge. Am I ready? If I'm ready, I will reveal my seventh problem. Communication should be clear from the teacher and also the seeker. The seeker should be very clear. Teacher should be very clear. Another problem. When the mind is impure, then we have one million excuses. When the mind is pure, it is always looking for the right knowledge of the subjective reality. And we have a simple process. If the teacher follows that process of Shabda, means the word or the words follows by the meaning. Patanjali explains in the third chapter. So he says, Shabd, Arth, Jnana. The first is the word. Second is the meaning of that word or a verse or a sentence or a sutra. And third, what is the knowledge hidden in it? So the impure mind cannot follow that process of knowledge and understanding. Another problem created by the mind. Okay, I have understood that is the real self. Then the second stage of the problem comes. Is the real self big or small? Large? Is it like an atom? Is it like a wave? Is it like an energy? What is this? Is it matter or is it consciousness? Or is it combo? It is small, medium, or large, like a coffee in Starbucks. You know, the moment you say, oh, one coffee, please. Small, medium, or large? Is the real self small, medium, or large? Is it combo? Is it matter or consciousness? So you see the process. The teacher follows that process, and it, he clears all these doubts. As the seeker seeks the real self. Another problem comes. Is the real self doer or enjoyer? Or non-doer, non-enjoyer? If the real self is non-enjoyer, then how come he is of the nature of permanent peace and happiness? These questions enters into the mind that is pure, that has a sincerity. Otherwise, it will not enter into the mind of a person. That is how the teacher understands. Now, when a teacher teaches the Patanjali Yoga Sutra, he follows the tradition of that Patanjali. <clears throat> when he teaches Hatha Yoga, he has to follow the tradition of Hatha Yoga. Why? To have that consistency, to avoid misunderstanding. And the teacher is always ready to answer the questions with a focus on the evolution of a seeker. That is how the Patanjali text was written. Going back. Freedom from the mind and permanent happiness. Or we may say permanent happiness, love, and the wisdom. The real self is of the nature of permanent happiness, love, wisdom, truth, pure awareness. But before that, freedom from the mind. What is freedom from the mind? You can say emptiness. You can say I'm in meditation. You can say I'm in the state of the mindfulness. 
So again, be very clear what happens in that state of the mindfulness. The knowledge of the reality is revealed unto us. And that washes away all the challenges that is coming from the outer life. Because I have a clarity. What is that clarity? Whether I want or do not want. These challenges will continue to come in my life. Can I bring an end to all these challenges in my life? So mind gives you a hope. Let me do this. This desire is fulfilled. Once this desire is fulfilled, at least I will get rid of the problem. Look at this. Now it is coronavirus. Millionaire is there. I have enough wealth to have two vacations in a year. Can I go on vacation? Desire management, desire fulfillment is not there, even if I have the means and the resources for it. Look at it. Second, Second part, I have invested a lot of wealth in the portfolio. That will help me to live my life. Next week, I get a heart stroke. How the portfolio is going to help. So the master says, look the defects in the desire fulfillment. It does not mean the master says, stop desiring to feed myself. But constantly looking the defects will open the door of the mind to remain fixed with a sincerity that I am seeking happiness only from the real self. That will change the perspective, the way we perform karma, action in our personal, professional and social life. Again, I'm repeating, whether we want these challenges or not, when I'm living a human life, the challenges will always be there. We cannot avoid these challenges. We cannot say that now I have fixed this challenge and this challenge will never come to me. I'm lonely, for example, without a wife. Now I am too with a wife. Think of this one example. Say, apply the same. I don't have the resources. Now I have the resources. Apply that in any thing in the life. You will find that these challenges continues to enter into our life. Only option is desire management, means that will keep the mind free. I will continue to work towards meeting my necessities with a cool and the calm mind. But if I say, if my mind says, okay, after a year of the practice, I will progress. But the very sincerity that mind is still looking outside, it will never happen. It has never happened to anyone. That is the message given by our master. And the first chapter focuses on Freedom from the mind and discovery of the permanent happiness. Discovery because it is revealed. It is not to be created. When I say I have done a lot of austerity for the last five years, why the permanent peace is not happening, it will never be revealed. Why? The mind is not drawing its 
day to day life from the shreyas. It is drawing its movement, thought, speech, and action from the prayers. Then we may practice meditation five hours every day for one year. Result and result, same frustration, same anxiety, same reaction, same problems that I have underlined, eight or nine problems that we will face. And we have a genuine question outside, but it is superficial. What is that? I have done the practice for so many months and weeks, and after there is no change. No change will come. When that there is a clarity, the mind inside, the thinker in the head inside is following the path of the Shreyas while performing all my meeting all the challenges of the life, the change will come from the very first day, first hour, first practice. What it means? I'm a seeker. And the seeker alone succeeds in this path. That is what the freedom and the permanent peace and happiness 